Chris, when you put in new schemes for a new season and the things don't go great, how do you balance, okay, are we doing the right things or, or are the guys just not getting it yet? Um, I think you have to really focus on just the, the very, you got to dial back some. Okay, are we doing too much? Let's focus on the very fundamentals of, of the of the particular scheme or whatever it is. Make sure we gapped out and doing everything the right way, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So you got to dial back some. Don't try to do as much. It is new to the guys. Let get them a good understanding of it. Move forward. And, and then when, when they watched film, did, did you get the sense they got what was not working? Like yeah, as you watch the film, you say, okay, uh, alignment here, assignment there. You know, which are which are very crucial, obviously, and uh, and so everybody got it, and you can move forward and got better this week. So in hindsight, do you maybe think you guys were a little bit ambitious with what you you tried to implement for the first week with, with this? Um um uh, um, and we still tried not to put as much in there that, that we thought. You know what I mean? But maybe we were, maybe we were, for the guys, first game, really excited, want to do well, you know, and so had to dial some of it back and and, and move forward. Is there anything you learned within the scheme from week one that you maybe could toss it out and lean on other stuff more because it was successful? Uh, there were some things that, that, that we definitely learned as we watched it. And, uh, and, and, and again, being gap sound, dial it back some. You, I, I say toss out meaning, let's not do it until our guys get this down. Lead this, lead this part out, lead this one out. Let's just focus on the very fundamentals of, of doing the right thing and being gap sound. When you sat down to make the depth chart for this week, how much discussion was put into maybe moving some guys out of the roles that they had going into last week versus allowing them to play through their struggles and figure it out? I got you. Um, the depth chart is pretty much going to still stay the same. Uh, we've worked at it. The guys understand it, be it a three down or a four down. Uh, and, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick with it. We're not just going to throw it out because guys have been progressing and getting better. So we'll just, like I said, dial back some stuff. Posting up something that I think we noticed from the linebackers was a little bit of hesitation. Was that just a matter of maybe guys not being comfortable or, or knowing their responsibilities? Which backers are you talking now? Are you talking inside, outside, inside, inside, inside. inside backers? Mm -hmm. um, the, it depends on what we were doing scheme-wise. Uh, the play, like one scheme, the backers are playing fast downhill. The others, there may be a little bit, you know, hesitation there, and then go, you know, diagnosis, then go. Whereas the one is just go right now. So. Uh, that's probably what you saw a little bit of. Not so, so much, uh, not sure, just that's what built in the scheme a little bit. Is Levante available? He is available. So Coach, was there anybody that seemed like a natural fit in the defense based, based off the game? Anybody stand out to you? Um, some guys played well, you know. Uh, I thought uh, not to just single out, because so, then when you start doing this, he said me, but he didn't say me. You know, but it was some guys that did some good things. Uh, um, obviously, you know, want to have more guys doing better things and that's come out on top. But uh, we asked some guys to do some good things. When you, when you look back, a couple of the third and long situations, Coach Taggart may have mentioned bringing more pressure. What goes into the decision at the, at the time? You know what, man, and just do, doing this over the years, you know, you, you, you probably got a little too conservative. Me, probably got a little too conservative and, and figure, hey, play top down, make the tackle, get off the field. You know what I mean? One of those type things, as opposed to being really aggressive. And believe it or not, my personality is aggressive. But trying to just overthink it, you know, just trying to overthink it, and that was, that was, that was, that was on me. How did you think the, how did you think the edge players uh, played and did uh, setting the edge and you know, getting to the quarterback? Um, I thought they did a pretty decent job. You know, we can do better, obviously. Um, but they did a decent job for the first time out in the, in the new situation for them. Um, but there's obviously some situations where the ball did get around us, and we don't need that to happen, don't want that to happen. We are trying to force the ball to go east-west, all defense is. You don't want it to go north-south, and with our speed, go run it down. Were you happy with some of the things that you were able to do to pressure the quarterback, six sacks by five different guys? It seemed like there were times where that was really working and bringing some confusion. That was, that was a, a great positive for our guys, and uh, we're going to build upon that. Uh, we did get to the quarterback. Uh, we did hit him. Tough kid. Kept getting up. He got. He took some shots. Now, he took some shots, and uh, we want to continue to be able to do that, and even get more opportunities. Maybe getting the ball out, and, and, and opportunities to get the and scoop and score, or, or fall on fumbles, or what have you. Coverage wise, it seemed like things were slanted towards zone a little bit. Is that something that you monitor in game? You know, I want a certain split between zone and man, and do you see yourself using more man? -over? You do want to split it, but um, you know, we as you looked at last week's game, it, it was more. You know, we were really good with the man stuff. The zone stuff is average. 
just being honest, it wasn't that good. But but the, the 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 man stuff our guys did a really good job at, and we got pressure on the quarterback. And so um, uh, we, you still want that 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 split though. You know you can't just go all man, all in man, all in zone. You got to uh, create confusion for the quarterback, for the coordinator, and all that type of stuff. Coach, what do you attribute that to? The guys doing better in man than in zone? Is that more? personality for the way the defensive backs like to play? Is it more than not grasping things, I guess, the zone coverages? You know what? It, it might be more personality. I mean, when you go out to all these seven on seven deals, everybody want to get in your face and press you and play you and all that kind of stuff, you know? And so it's probably a lot of them are more used to doing that type of stuff. It's just like when you go out and play backyard ball. If you still play ball, y'all get together with some buddies. You don't go out and say, we're going to play cover three. Y'all go say, y'all got him, you got him, you got him. You cover a man, you know what I mean? So that's just how it goes sometimes. You mentioned scaling things back, making it easier. Is alignment not one of the more easy things for guys to kind of be able to, to, to focus in on when, when they're out there? And it, it is. Align so that's that's the point. So maybe when, when you got too much in, you even let your alignment go away because you're so focused on trying to do the job of the of the scheme. That makes sense. Yeah. So exactly right. You want to always get aligned first and then build on that uh, as far as doing your job and getting it done. So you think by scaling things back, they'll be able to – Hey, focus on that first things first okay. first things first alignment assignment and then you know take care do your job during the boys game did the support staff upstairs point out to you guys that the alignment was off was that community yeah we had game? support staff we did have support staff upstairs helping us out doing a good job as well i just got to get everything communicated the proper way and uh it will be coach taggart said that it's a secret who's going to be up there this week but how are you guys going to go about trying to fix that maybe eyes in the sky is helping you out a little bit more First part of your question was, Coach Tiger said that was a secret. <laughs> you know, when they make substitutions, the, the ref will get there and next to the ball to make sure that they don't snap it, and, and you guys are running off the field too. Is that something you guys need to be more? Because you got like Roberts running like a wind sprint for 50 yards. I mean, can he jog he off? He can the field? jog off. Absolutely, he can jog off. We want to. Uh, the rule is jog off, run on, for our guys. That's our get. That's our deal. Jog off, run on. Because like you said, they're subbing, we can sub. And so the ref is going to stand over the ball until everybody's subbed in and out. That, is that part of playing better maybe this week is knowing that and... And, and actually implementing it. it. Yes. You know, again, excitement for the first game. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to jog off. Not, you know what I mean? These are, these are young people, 18, 22-year-olds that, you know, sometimes things happen with a crowd out there. You're running around. You know, things happen. What kind of challenges does your OM present? Got a good quarterback, a quarterback that has multiple starts. Uh, he's been a three-year starter for them, um, so he's confident. He's played on big stages against uh, Power Five opponents, and uh, so that's number one in my opinion. So he's going out there, very, he's coming out very confident. He believes in his ability and what he can do, and his coaches does too, based on you seeing what he does. So he knows the offense, he understands the offense. Running backs run hard, offensive line got four to five guys back, so they're gonna, they're, they're a confident deal. They're a confident deal. And so uh, it, it, the challenges are them just coming in with a presence of, hey, we've been together, we played on big stages before, let's just go get it done. And so there's more of that than anything. Is there any word on uh, Travis J's uh, status and whether he'll be available? Still waiting to hear back on that. It's a frustrating thing for the kid. I feel sorry for him, but we're still waiting to hear. Is there anything about Hamza's game that translates better to him being in the, in the secondary as opposed to that kind of short experiment you guys have with him in linebacker? The guy is a very versatile football player, and uh, he could man, he could play so many different positions on the football field. It's ridiculous, and we have him at multiple right now, just depending on what packages we're in. Um, but he's just he's just he could be good at a lot of different positions, and so we just using him where we feel like it's best for us right now. Got time for a couple more. Jaleel, uh, younger guys, maybe Amari, do you see them maybe working their way into more reps on Saturday? They, they did a good job, man. Both of those guys did a really good job. Jaleel uh, came in and got him a sack. And, and Amari, I think, is a one, one of the most improved guys on defense. Continues to get better each and every week. Coach, you Excuse mentioned me. last one. You mentioned uh, defense being more aggressive on, on third down and that being your personality. Is that something you want to see? I guess throughout the entire game, the defense taking on that part of your personality and your play calling taking that on. Yeah, and that's, that's part of me too, you know what I mean? Uh, and it, it, again, being aggressive but being smart at the same time. And uh, absolutely, we want, to, we want to go get people. It's defensive football. It's football. You know, your other guy got to be out. Your incredible hawk got to be out at all times. That's how I got to go.